Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna guide you step by step on how to use Git and GitHub. If you are a complete beginner, this video is just for you. And the best thing is, after this video, you will have your first pull request ready to merge. How cool is that? So make sure you watch it till the end and subscribe to Curious Grids. First, what is GitHub? GitHub is the largest internet hosting platform for software development. Most of the companies use GitHub to develop their software. And Git is the version control system. Git keeps track of every single contribution. Basically, it helps us to track the flow of the development. Don't worry about all these definitions. You'll understand as we move further in this video. If you don't have GitHub account, then just quickly sign up. And another thing you will need is obviously Git. Install the latest version of Git on your computer. The procedure is quite simple. You can check Git version by git hyphen hyphen version command and check if you have installed Git correctly or not. Then you can set your global Git username and email address by git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name your name and git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email your email these commands. So are you done? I hope you are ready with your GitHub account and Git installed on your computer. Now open the link of this repository which is given in the description. But before we make a pull request, first let's understand some basics. What is repository? Repository is a place where you keep your project's files. You can discuss and manage your project's work within the repository. You can create repositories individually in your GitHub account or you can create it in your organization just like I created this repo in Curious Grids organization. What is issue? Issue is the place where you can discuss what features you want to add to this project or which bug you want to solve. Then a maintainer or owner will assign you that issue and then you can start your work. It's okay you don't need to raise any issue on this repo to contribute. You can directly make a pull request. But guys always remember in open source you should first raise an issue before you start working. It's a good practice. Now let's complete your first open source contribution. First thing, fork this repository in your account. In my case, Achilles Theta is my GitHub account. Forking is the first and most important part because you cannot directly contribute or push on the main repository of any project. Basically what we are doing is we are making a copy of this repository in your own account so that you can make changes later on. Now I fork this repository as you can see it's first timers in my account. Now the next step copy this repos uh, HTTPS or SSH URL and open command prompt or terminal on your computer. So now I'm on my terminal. I will get clone and paste that link. Now what we are doing here is we are copying this repository on our computer. Means all the files inside that repository everything will be copied on your computer. Now I'm just going to open this uh, folder by cd change directory first timers. Okay, now I'm in the first timers folder. These are basic Linux commands guys. I have made one video on this. So you can check that out later. Now in this folder, we have readme.md file means uh, markdown or you can say docs file. Then we will initialize git repo by git init command. And now by default, we are on the master branch. We never make changes directly on the master branch. 
why we don't make changes on master branch well master branch is the main working branch of any repository so to add features bugs we should test everything before we finally merge it to the master branch that's why we create our own branch and then make changes on that to create a new branch write git branch whatever the name you want to give in this case i am naming this branch as docs branch we created this branch but we are still on master branch so let's shift by git checkout docs now we switch to docs branch now we are on the docs branch open your favorite id and open this readme.md file so in my case my favorite id is visual studio so i'm going to open that under contributors list folder add your name in first name and last name format now you have added your name in your branch so we have made all the changes we will add everything by git add dot now dot means all files then we will make a commit message by git commit hyphen m and whatever message you want so here you can see one file is changed one file insertion now it's time to merge this branch to master to do that first let's move back to the master branch by same command git checkout master is sorry for the mistake it's not master github just updated uh, the naming of master to main so type git checkout main branch so now we are on the main branch or the master branch so just for the experiment we created docs branch and we added the name we made changes but now we are on the master branch so this should not contain any changes so let's see in the vs code there should be no change here as you can see there is no change there is no name because we added that in our own branch which is docs branch cool now to merge this branch type git merge docs yes finally we merged it now all the changes are merged into the master branch from docs branch last two steps are remaining to get a code ready to push write git remote add whatever the message you want like let's say docs update paste that https or ssh link that you copied and finally to push everything to your forked version write git push hyphen u and the same message docs update same message that you wrote in previous command type main now we pushed or you can say uploaded everything all the changes to the forked repository now to make a pull request just go to pull request and make a new pull request now here you can see the changes we have made in our forked version of this repository so create a pull request and just say anything my first contribution now i am maintainer of this project so i can merge this pro, uh, pull request let me show you in pull request i have one pull request and i have this merge option so if i merge this pull request i should see all the changes so yeah we merged it if we check yes the first name and last name is here so like that you can contribute to this repository i have made this repository because you don't need to search any repository you can just come here and make pr every information is displayed here like how to install git set your username and email and all the steps which we just did uh, everything is here so that's it guys this was the video i hope this was extremely helpful to all of you so please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to curious grids and yeah i'm waiting for your first pr let's make it happen